Uh, Ahmadi Muslims follow the exact teachings of Islam as have been brought to us by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Also, we believe in the five pillars of Islam and the six articles of faith, where the difference lies in relation to the second coming of the Messiah. As Ahmadis, we believe that that personage, the Masih and Mahdi, who was due to be sent for Muslims, has already come. He was uh, the founder of the Ahmadi community, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. So you're saying that the Prophet is not the last messenger? He is the last law-bearing messenger, but he himself prophesied in Sahih Muslim that Isa will come after him and that Isa will be a Nabiullah. He referred to Isa as a Nabiullah four different times. So a Nabiullah coming after him is something that he himself prophesied in Sahih Hadith. So it's not something that a person can escape from under any circumstances. He is the very last Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah who was sent to bring a law to, to mankind. What they conveniently forget is that they also believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, or Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, he's going to be coming at the end of time. They also know that he's a prophet. Do you need a prophet or not? You have to resolve that. Yes, there is a need for a prophet. Because if there isn't a need, then why is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sending Jesus? He, Allah does not do anything for no reason. So if he's sending Jesus, that means there's a need. We agree on that. The non-Ahmadi Muslims agree on that as well. And even if we took it to, let's say, Khatim al nabiyyin we take it to mean last of the prophets, that does not accord with the non-Ahmadi belief anyway. Because if we're going to say that Khatim al nabiyyin means the last of the prophets, then what about Jesus alayhi salam who is going to descend in the latter days? We have to ask our non-Ahmadi brothers and sisters then, then even your understanding of Khatim and Nabiin is not applicable because then Jesus would be the last of the prophets because he would be the last person to walk on the earth. It's impossible to find anything in the Quran which shows that Jesus is alive. Actually, not a single verse speaks of the fact that Jesus is alive. On the other hand, many verses speak about his being dead. The evidence is so abundant. In fact, it's, it's ironic that there are more verses relating to the death of Jesus, peace be upon him, than relating to any other prophet in the Holy Quran. You do not find a mention of the death of any one prophet more than Jesus, peace be upon him. In fact, there are more than 30 verses in the Holy Quran which show that he has died. The only person we know who's going to come is Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, who we know is going to be somebody else because the one who came before has been pronounced more than dead by the Holy Quran. And we know, for example, that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi even said what he's going to look like. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that there were, he gave two different physical descriptions of Jesus, son of Mary. The one who he, whom he saw in, among the dead people, he said he was rosy colored and he had curly hair. A bit like what we know of the people in the Middle East. And he said, and I saw that the Messiah, son of Mary coming and he's with the Dajjal. So he's the one coming later. And he is wheat colored, meaning, meaning light brown, and he's got straight lank hair. So that's a different person, yet he's being called Isa ibn Maryam. So they don't understand this and the ulama conveniently hide this from them. They make them think there's only one description, whereas there are two in the Sahih al-Bukhari on the same page. You can't miss it. You see, if you get one, you get the other. And so that Isa alayhi salam who will come in the latter days is not a literal Jesus, you know, prophet of the Bani Israel who's going to come 2,000 years later physically, but that he's already come metaphorically in the form of Hazrat Ahmad alayhi salam of Qadiyan. In the Quran, all the prophets are called A'imma yaduna bi amrina. All the prophets are said by Allah, they are A'imma, they are Imams. Yahduna bi amrina, they guide people by our command. In other words, they are Imam Mahdi's. All of them are. And so if an Imam Mahdi comes in the future and then the Prophet said, you have to accept him. You have to go and do bayah on his, on his hand, even if you have to go on crawling on, on your knees through snow. Yeah, to get to him. Then go. If he was not a prophet, then why all this, you know, this uh, expediency and all this urgency? Why? And when we know that the only people called Imam Mahdi in the Quran are prophets. So it all makes sense suddenly. So it means that the person who's coming he is that Jesus son of Mary who will be of light brown color with lank hair, who will be an Imam Mahdi for the people and he will be a prophet and after him there will be a successor Khulafa. This is the whole Sunnah. The Sunnah is follow Allah and follow me. When the Prophet says do this, we do it.